Let's look at how to set up a sheet in Smartsheet. We'll start from the Plus tab, where you can import data from other programs, modify a template, or create a new sheet. We'll create a new sheet and name it. Next, we'll customize the columns. Columns drive important functionality in your sheet and can have different properties. The first type of column we'll look at is the primary column. The primary column is a text or number-based column that contains key information about each row in your sheet. We'll double-click on the column header and name this column Task Name. We could also select Rename Column from the Column drop-down menu. We'll name this second column Assigned To and give it contact list properties to make it easy to assign tasks and share information with team members. If you've already imported team member contacts into Smartsheet, names will autofill as you start typing. We'll name the next column Due Date, give it date properties, and select due dates for each task from the calendar. Adding dates to your sheet makes it easy to create automatic reminders for team members and view dates from your sheet on a calendar. Then we'll create a stage column, give it drop-down list properties, and enter the list values. Drop-down lists simplify data entry and come in handy if you use card view, which I'll show you later. Finally, we'll make a status column with symbol properties and select red, yellow, green balls to show the status of each task. Now that you've created your columns, you can rearrange or resize them. Delete unnecessary columns from the column drop-down menu. Now, let's look at rows. Rows help you support column functionality and can be used to keep information in context. Attach files and add comments to any row. Move rows using drag and drop. Insert rows from the toolbar or use the row drop-down menu. For this project, it will be helpful to group related tasks. So we'll select the rows below the row we want to use as the header and click the indent button. Now you can collapse your rows for an overview or expand to view detail. To share your sheet with the team, click the sharing tab, enter the names of the people you want to share with and set their permission levels. Include a brief message if needed. Then click on Share Sheet. Each recipient will get an email inviting them to view the sheet. We set up this sheet in Grid View, but Smartsheet offers multiple ways to view your work. Use Calendar View to see task dates on a calendar, or work more visually with Card View. In Card View, different columns called Lanes correspond to the option from your drop down list. In this case, the cards are organized by stage not started, in progress, in review, and completed, because the stage column is a drop-down column in the sheet we created. You can rearrange cards and add cards. Each card you add becomes a row in your sheet. You can also view your sheet as a Gantt timeline. The sheet we created has due dates and will add start dates so we can use the Gantt view. And that's how you set up a sheet in Smartsheet. To learn more, check out these resources.